everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we'll look at a paper that was just published showing a reversal of biological age in humans by eight years using a single supplement. The trial was not placebo controlled, but the outcome was statistically very clear. And it was a trial on humans where the intervention was very simple, non-invasive, and something that would be accessible to many people. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Rejuvent, a potential life-extending compound formulation with alpha-ketoglutarate and vitamins, conferred an average eight-year reduction in biological aging after an average of seven months of use in the true age DNA methylation test. Just to explain, Rejuvent is a calcium alpha-ketoglutarate-based supplement from Ponce de Leon Health. We interviewed the CEO of PDL, Tom Weldon, previously. We have added his comments on the trial later in the video. It's worth noting that one of the authors is Professor Brian Kennedy from the National University of Singapore and a leading researcher in the aging field. A quick overview of the paper, then we will dive into some of the details. We've been successful in extending health span and lifespan in animals, but there is little validation in humans. Because of the length of human lifespan, studying this directly won't work. So we're using aging biomarkers as a proxy, such as DNA methylation. This study was a retrospective analysis of changes in DNA methylation age of 42 individuals, taking rejuvent, which is an alpha-ketoglutarate-based formulation for an average of seven months. DNA age testing was done at baseline and at the end of the treatment. The average decrease in biological age was eight years. And you can see that this had a very low P number and so was statistically significant. The treatment worked across the group, so it did not appear to be specific to any environment. And it worked best in those who were older, either chronologically or biologically. As they say, further placebo-controlled tests would be great, but this result is noteworthy. There were 42 participants in the trial who took the supplement for between four and 10 months. They all reported that they were in good or excellent health with no chronic medical conditions. The average chronological age was 63, and there were 14 females and 28 males. We can also see that the biological and chronological ages were in quite close alignment at the beginning of the test. This graph is showing the baseline correlation of biological age as measured by true age and the actual chronological age. There is a correlation of 0.77, which is quite strong. The intervention was to take rejuvenate daily. This is a supplement which has one gram of calcium alpha-ketoglutarate with vitamin A for men and vitamin D for women in a time-release formulation. The participants were given questionnaires at baseline and at the end of the trial about their habits, such as exercise, diet, sleep routine, alcohol consumption, smoking, etc. From this data, 13 participants were identified who had not made significant changes in these parameters. These were looked at as a separate cohort because it was felt that there would be less confounding factors here are the results. The graph shows the chronological age minus the biological age, so higher is better. The first line is the person age at baseline, and the second is after treatment. We can see for all the participants in this group that the biological age difference improved. Having looked at the smaller group, they also looked at all 42 participants, and here is the graph for them. There were two individuals for whom the biological age got slightly worse, but the majority saw significant improvements. Here are the details compiled into a table. Perhaps the most significant number is this one here, the average change in biological age, which was 8.44 years for men and 6.98 years for women. One thought is that interventions may not be applicable across the whole population, and no one intervention will help everyone. But in this case, the vast majority did indeed see a reduction in biological age. In the study, they looked at what factors might impact the amount of improvement that the people saw using the data from the questionnaires. 
So for example, if people exercised, would they see a greater or lesser improvement? After analysis, only two significant factors were found to impact the results. It was those who had a higher biological age to chronological age, and those who were older who benefit the most. A placebo-controlled trial would be great, but this was a human trial with a cohort of healthy individuals with an average age of 63, and there was significant improvement in the majority of the participants. Now, let's hear from Tom Weldon, the CEO of Ponce Leon Health, on some of the background on how the paper came about. We have a paper. It's not ours, actually. It's um, Yelena, the CEO of True Me. You know, she she contacted me about a year or so ago and said, look, you know, we have people who are taking all kinds of things. And the only people that are consistently uh, reducing their biologic age are the folks that are on rejuvenate. And she said, I'd like to think about doing a paper. So I said, you know, sure, that that's that, that would be fine with us. Anything we can do to be helpful, just let us know. And so finally, um, you know, she got to the point where she had enough data um, where she wanted, um, you know, to publish this paper. And so I, I asked uh, Dr. Kennedy to kind of get involved um, because he's much more familiar with the protocols, the practice, the people uh, involved in publication, also the statistics that are used, et cetera. And that paper uh, should be submitted here shortly. And I believe that it's likely to get published soon. And it will show in a retrospective trial, I mean, because this is looking backwards, uh, so there is no placebo control because it's historic, but a retrospective randomized trial of all of the people who took a DNA methylation test first, and most people don't, frankly, they start taking the product immediately and save the test for later, but that took the test first and then went on the product for about six months uh, and then retested, you know, showed a statistically significant reduction in biologic age. And I don't know exactly how many are gonna wind up in the final paper. Um, everybody that did really well, they dropped out as an outlier, which, I mean, that, that's fine. Um, but the numbers were a whole lot better when they were in. But uh, they, they dropped several people out uh, who were, you know, were very, very good responders. Um, and uh, they were, they were, in, and they were a lot of people who wouldn't share their data because they just viewed it as, you know, DNA data, and they didn't want to share it. But I think there's over sixty uh, people in that now, uh, customers, and so uh, that should be published before too awful long, and that will show a statistically significant reduction in biologic age. Mm -hmm.